Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and before we hop into it, shout out to the last giveaway winner, congrats to you, please email me so I can send you your prize, and with that being said, we have Elf versus RIP Kid No Cry, and there are two money matches in this, and they are both worth $20, so realistically someone could win $40 here, they could end up walking away both with no money, uh, also make sure to check out the competitive discord called the Colosseum, Link down below at the top of the description. And with that being said, let's hop right into this. Again, there's two matches. I remember to say it this time. And then we're going to see RIP Kid No Cry win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot so they can decide they want to go first or second. Looking at deck counts, we see 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. And they're going to choose to go first. Opening hands, we have Roshi, Kieran, Bell, Desires, and Gigi. So one hand trap going second. And then they have Harpies, Pikachu, Imperm, Bell, and Caldbine. And then they're going to start off by normal summoning and using the effect. Go grab I meet you. And then link away for dark infant. Dark infant effect. Go grab island. And then activate I meet you. That will reveal fire phoenix to go grab fire. And then use island. Island effect. Summon fire. And then fire effect to go search. Go grab doyon. And then obviously they're just going to get the full combo here. Summon out cybers. Island, summon, and then get those effects, add back from the graveyard, and then banish to go grab wind. And then get rid of those to go for splash mage, and then doyon effect, add back I meet you. Island, summon wind, and then wind effect to go send Amari. And then splash effect. Try to special summon back out Doyon, Chain Bell, Chain Called by. That is going to make their Bell unusable though. Next turn. Oh, well, fair enough. So, going on to the next game, we are going to see Virtual World decide to go first. Open hands. We have. Man, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> we have Roshi, Kieran, Nib, Lulu, and Sean Wu. Also, it's a bug, man. It's crazy. So, so much is going wrong in like two seconds. And then they have Lightning Storm, Island, DD Crow, Pikachu, and DD Crow. So, normal summon out Lulu. And then Kieran effect. It's going to summon itself out by dumping Ching Wong. And then DD Crow hit Ching Wong. Then go ahead and get rid of those to make Shen Shen. And then Roshi effect. That will go ahead and target. Summon itself out by dumping Ching Wong. Special summon back out Kieran. Said, think, that's tough honestly, DD Crow hit Ching Wong, and then they're just going to overlay for M7, M7 effect, and then that will go ahead and grab back Lulu, and then they can activate Lulu effect, target Shen Shen, it's going to special out by dumping Ching Wong, go grab Chu Chi, and then Ching Wong effect, yeah I knew the crows were going to do nothing to be honest, rather let you go for this instead of Zulkin, so go grab GG, and then discard the Sean Wu, then activate GG effect, special summon itself out by dumping, and then they're going to go dump Chu Chi, then get rid of those, go for Stardust Charge Warrior, charge, oh my gosh, a draw one into a draw two, it's so good, go ahead, banish, draw order, yeah, that's game. That's, oh my gosh, they were playing in the lightning storm so hard to then go ahead and set, and then end phase, add back Kieran, and then pass, draw Ash. Lightning storm, hit the monsters, they're going to chain order. Yeah, that that was crazy, like, I don't know, like, they, they, ah, uh, why does everyone keep summoning everything in attack? But well, they did draw order, so just never punished. This is like uh, the fifth time Lil I lose to order in the last two days. <laughs> Bill, why? And now going on to game three, match one, we are going to see Adagnister go first. Opening hand, we have Gamma, Ash, Lulu, Kieran, Gamma, so this is good. And then they have Nib, AI Contact, Silent Mining, Fire, and Nib. So they're going to sign up mining, discard, chain Ash Blossom, normal summon out fire, use that effect. And then they're going to chain Gamma. I'm going to go ahead, summon, bring out Driver, and then pass. Draw, draw, and Lockbird. 
And then normal summon out Lulu, activate Kieran, target, special summon by dumping Xinglong, and Sean Wu said, what can I say, haha. -ha. And then Xinglong effect, go grab GG, discard Gamma, and then get rid of those, they're gonna make Shen Shen. And then GG effect, target Shen Shen, special summon itself out by dumping Xinglong. And then battle phase, go ahead and poke. Then they're choosing to not Shen Shen put back. Then end phase, go ahead and grab Lulu, so playing around Nib because there's only four summons. And then pass, draw DD Crow, and that's game. Yeah, so run back. So now moving on to the second match. So, so far we see Elf. They are up $20 here, and then they win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. Moving on to the next match. And then we are going to see them decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Roshi, Bell, Gamma, Kieran, Gigi, not bad, and they have called by Crow, Terraforming, Droll, and Fire. So they're going to normal summon, and then Kieran effect, target, and then go ahead and dump Chinglong, Crow, hit Chinglong, and then Roshi, that's just going to go dump Chinglong, and then Chinglong effect, grab Lulu, and then discard Gamma, drop draw on Lockbird. And then get rid of those two. Go ahead and make Shen Shen pass. Draw I meet you. And then activate terraforming. Go grab island. And then normal summon fire. Use that effect. Grabbing Pikachu. And then make dark infant. Dark infant effect. Go grab island. And then activate island. Use that special summon out. And then get that effect to go search. That's gonna go grab contact. Then activate contact, put back, draw three. That's a whole lot of hand traps. Shen Shen's really putting in work here, though. This card is, like, so underrated. And then activate I meet you, reveal Wind Pegasus, go grab Wind from the deck to the hand. And then get rid of those two, go for Splash Mage, Island effect, go summon, and then affect the dump. It's going to dump Doyon. And then splash effect to try to special summon back. Chain bell. And then chain called by. It's going to hit that. And then that will still resolve. Go ahead and summon. Set think here. Turn those into an update jammer. But hold on. So uh, let me read this real quick. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a link material. All right. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure on that. So, I don't know why they went for that. Summon, I don't think they know that. Yeah. Jammer one. Yeah. Can't. Yeah, Jammer says graveyard. I can access, but not Jammer. Yep. And then go ahead and poke. Yeah, that was just not crazy. It's like they could have main phase two go ahead and pop that. But then like they're gonna have nothing. And then take twenty three pass draw city. And then banish two for Shen Shen chain DD Crow and then activate city. They're gonna ash blossom that and then activate Lulu effect target summon dump and then go search. Then, yeah, this is honestly, this is enough. Summon Vermilion, Vermilion effect, pop, uh, you can't build that. That banishes, not for effect, that banishes for cost. Yeah, go ahead, pop, and then attack, set, pass play, and then draw Pikachu. Normal summon, effect, and then go grab fire. Or, oh, wait. Yeah, this can't grab fire. They're gonna grab I meet you and then activate that reveal. Yeah, not dot dirt. Reveal, go grab fire. And then link away for dark infant and then dark infant effect. Go grab island. And then island to special summon out fire and then fire effect. Go grab Doyon. Get rid of those, and then that's gonna make Splash Mage. And then Islands, summon out Doyon, Doyon effect to add back fire. 
and then splash effect, special summon back out light, and then overlay those for light dragon effect, pop vermilion, and then vermilion effect to add back. So they're gonna add back bell, and then poke, poke, and then they can use that effect to you know go ahead and well on that go poke and then affect special summon back or try to and then they're gonna chain bell and then poke and then yeah end phase they take 23 end phase they're gonna flip chuchi target so they just want to force the material this turn and then draw roshi main phase activate roshi chain bell to negate that and then ching long effect Grab Lulu, and then discards. Uh, oh, they're been in defeat there. All right. So going on to the next game, we're going to see Adagnister go first. Opening hands, we have Lulu, Bell, City, GG, Nib. So multiple hand traps going second. Wow, that's a really nice hand. And then they have Bell, Pikachu, Ash, Bell, Amichu. And then they're gonna normal summon effect. Go grab Island. Then link away for Dark Infant, and then Dark Infant effect. Go grab Field Spell. And then activate Amichu, reveal Fire Phoenix, go grab Fire. And then Island, the Island effect, summon Fire, and then you're gonna get Fire effect to go grab Doyon. Get rid of those to go into Cyber's Wicked. Field Spell, summon, and then get those effects, grab back, go grab Wind. And then turn those into a splash and then they're gonna go ahead and activate island summon so choosing not to do that and then effect dump and then splash summon back and then get rid of those for wind pegasus and you're gonna get wind graveyard effect special summon back out of doyon and then get rid of all those for dark templar and then you're gonna get doyon effect add back and then Island, summon out Pikachu, Dark Templar to try to summon, and then they're gonna chain Nib. So they're not gonna get the summon here because there's no zones. And then pass over token, pass, draw Roshi, and then activate City, chain Ash Blossom, and then normal summon GG, activate Lulu. Wow, they submit defeat there. Said so DM your PayPal. Yep, the usual. Dude, I opened crack game two, not gonna lie. Just game two, game one was nice. Maybe a lot of games. Did you get it? All right, so we're gonna see Elf win. Well, they sent $42, so we're gonna see Elf well, win $40 here uh, and RIP Kid No Cry loses $40 here. So shout out to Elf, uh, easy 40. Let's see how long it took to actually win that though. Okay, so took took like 40 minutes to win 40 bucks, so about a dollar a minute. Not bad, not bad. And uh, again, make sure to go check out the competitive Discord, the Coliseum, down below in the description, near the top. Also, shout out to the giveaway winner. I'm going to be doing more giveaways soon, like uh, ho hopefully a lot more soon. Uh, in the last four days, I've had four sponsorship offers. I've only accepted one of them. The other three, I shot them down, said no to them. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I just didn't really want to do them. Felt kind of like cheesy, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to like promote products to you that are like, expensive like super expensive or anything like that that are just like not necessary but uh yeah and also like obviously not gonna like promote a scam or anything none of the ones i got in the last four days were scams but i definitely have gotten a lot of scam offers before but going to be doing more giveaways soon um hopefully a lot more currently the ones i've been doing have been sponsored by me <laughs> Uh, and my TCG player affiliate link, if you use that, all the money I make off of that goes back into the channel through giveaways, not into like, like if, if you use my TCG affiliate link, it's not like I'm using it for equipment. I'll use my own money on equipment, but I'll use it for giveaways. 
So, you know, it goes like right back to you. And then also, uh, if you use my channel membership, like if you become a channel member, any money I make through that will also be put back into the channel through giveaways. So make sure to use those. Uh, you know, the TCG player affiliate link is free to use as long as you're already shopping. And then the channel membership is like a dollar a month if you want to do it. If not, perfectly fine. Also, all the channel members are down below in the description. Like I have like a little section for them. Like I have like a little level two and then level one. And I have all their names written out. Uh, I thought that would be like cool to add since I don't really have a lot to offer for my channel members. But with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.